Yo guys, back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to text on Tinder like a pro. First of all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yadavi Singh. I'm a dating coach, and today I'm going to share with you my recent Tinder text game chat. I'm going to break it down for you. But this, what this? This is free flirty. There is rose, hibiscus, and eucalyptus leaves, or I don't know, flowers in it. It's just orgasmic. Okay, without any further ado, let's dive deeper into it. This is the woman who swiped me right on Tinder. I swiped her right as well, obviously. And then this is the first text that I sent. Yo, you got really expressive eyes. Why did I send something like this? Because first of all, I want her to think of me as a masculine voice. How can I say that? I cannot say it with "Hey." She can she can speak inside her own head like "Hey," "Hi," but you can't be like "Yo." You can be like "Yo." So "Yo." You got really expressive eyes. So here I am showing interest in her. Hey! Exclamation mark. Changing of keyboard. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's so sweet. This is a lot of emotional reactivity. You got really nice style. R style. Triple E's hysteric. This is a lot of emotional investment as well. You see, she's not thinking this way when she was texting. She was not thinking at this micro level. But in this class, we are going to go deeper into the unconscious, and we got to know what was actually going on in her unconscious and subconscious brain. So after my first text only, I see a lot of emotional reactivity. Then I'm like, ah, you already like me. That's cute. So here we are setting up the frame because the frame is open right now. Anyone can set up the frame. She can ask me like. So why are you on Tinder? Why are you talking to me? She didn't ask me anything like that. I'm like, ah, you already like me. That's cute. By the way, what do you do? You got to ask this question. This is something I call as purposeful question. Why do you have to ask this question? Because it tells you more about her. Because that's what you want to know. You're gonna meet her. You got to know something about her. So what do you do? I express myself, and I set up the frame, and then. I'm asking her what does she do. Coming back to the purposeful question. Haha, -ha, I surely like your name. So unique. I'm working. Lol. Pretty boring. What about you? You like my name? My name wants to see you. So here we are doing the misdirection. Misdirection is when someone says something and you just misdirect it. For example, you're talking to a woman and she's like, "Chalo," and then you're like, "Chalo." <laughs> so basically, you are misdirecting. In this in this scenario, she's like. I surely like your name, and then like you like my name. My name wants to see you again. Coming back to setting up the frame, wanting to meet her. I'm showing the interest, but I guess your time gets eaten by this boring work. So we are dissing her work right now. If you can see really closely, I'm engaging two parts of her mind. One is an emotionally reactive, the part of her mind which actually wants sex. That's why she's on Tinder. The second part of the mind is logical and is thinking clearly. We got to engage both of them, and then she's like, "Yeah, I mean, the work is not the boring, but the routine definitely is." You're a psychologist. She tells me something about herself, then she asks me a question. That's a nice thing to do. Being curious, mm -hmm, I am. So my motive is not to text back in huge formats, and even if I'm doing that, it should be just for the sake of expression, and something like that should not happen again and again. So here I am, like, mm -hmm, I am. You can notice one thing really carefully that I am using expressions quite a lot. In the previous message, you were noticing, ah, here you're like, mm -hmm. you like me more now. So I'm just stating whatever I was stating before in the interaction, and then she's like, haha, same. I mean, I was then shifted to the corporate world. You're a psychologist as well. No question marks. <laughs> so I'm not putting a question mark because you have to change the keyboard over there. That's just too much of effort. And I don't want to show any effort. I want my text to be like I'm working somewhere else. Some something in my life has taken up my work. It's more purposeful over there, which is true. And I'm just getting some time in between where I'm just texting, and I don't have time to change keyboards, dude. Then she's like, "Yes, I was, but then I shifted to HR. Counseling was a little too exhausting for me." Haha, <laughs> how do you do it? HR. Now I know what you meant when you said about work and boredom. <laughs> Here again, I'm pushing a bit and giving a diss to her work, and then I'm like, counseling takes your energy away. It's true, yeah, giving her reassurance. But I just love it. By the way, I really like your vibe. Again, showing interest because 
the interaction is moving slowly upwards and she's receptive towards the idea of meeting again and she's also responding to and reacting to my texts whenever I am showing interest in her. Where do you stay in Delhi? Again coming back to what we actually want to do. Yeah, more than that it was emotionally exhausting. Haha, <laughs> no HR is fun. I'm Saket, what about you? <laughs> so again you see, this is the idea behind engaging both parts of a brain. A part of a brain which is logical and wants clarity and works and the other part of brain which is the biological part of the brain which is craving sex and which is more emotionally inclined. So whenever she is texting me, she is texting from both parts of her brain. She tells me an answer to a purposeful question, then she also tells me something fluffy, something fun. Then I gave a major push on that thing. Thank God you stay close, I'm staying in Chhatarpur. One thing you can notice is I'm picking up the messages I want to reply to. So she told me something about emotionally exhausting and HR but that's not going anywhere. I'm at Saket, what about you? This goes somewhere. So I'm like thank God you stay close. Again seeding the idea that we are going to meet. I'm staying in Chhatarpur. That is 15 minutes. Dude, the shape of your eyes is like my cat's. So here I'm seeding an idea that there is a cat at my home and you have the same eye shape. It doesn't really matter actually but just that I want her to know that I have a cat at home because it generates a sense of curiosity. Oh, I want to see that cat. Then she's like, phew, I absolutely hate Delhi traffic. Compliance on the distance as well. Haha, <laughs> what? That's some compliment. No man, my eyes are no longer beautiful, dark circles. So this is a disqualifier from her. She wants me to be like, no, 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 your eyes are so cute. Da, 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 da. But I'm not gonna do any of that. I would love to meet your cat though. Never met one. So you see, basically we seeded an idea and that idea sprouted later. And then I'm saying, lovely, I'm going to go out on 21st for 10 days. You're free today or tomorrow. Coming back to the idea of meeting because that's the point of Tinder. What? That's so cool. I'm going out right now. Tomorrow depends on how much I drink today. So let me add you on Insta. Insta, that's not why I'm on Tinder. I'm going to summer house tonight. WhatsApp me. Oh, nice. I might drop by. What time will you be there? Amazing. By 9.30 or 10. Here I'm totally dominating and just talking about what do I seek? because they have been enough comfort for Tinder which should have been there and it's there right now and then I'm like call me if you come it's going to be crazy so here I'm painting a picture in her head then she's like oh shoot I'm reaching right now I think I'll leave by 10ish so she wants to meet then and there and then I'm like I'm leaving at 8.30 then she's like oh spot me then later at the night I was like hey I'll have to leave for Goa early in the morning let's meet when I come back you got an amazing energy because I couldn't go there because there was an amazing night that was happening over here that night so I didn't have to go out to meet this date but she was there and there she takes absolutely I would love to see you in fact I was looking for you at summer house lol yeah so she was looking out for me at summer house but at that night something else happened and this was the Tinder breakdown that I really wanted to talk about to you guys because there is not much effort over here. Women are on Tinder because they want to meet guys. They are not there because they want to be friends with you. Or some of them are there because they want more Instagram followers. So my frame is, I don't want your Instagram. I don't want Instagram exchange. When are we meeting? Text me. When are we meeting? Text me. So you will see a certain structure where you can see the first thing that I'm offering value by being expressive. Second thing, I give purposeful questions whenever we talk too much about fun things which can go totally non-relatable. Third thing is after showing interest, giving compliments, after dissing about a company or dissing about something, basically showing disinterest in something which is a part of her life, I will come back to meeting again and again. These are some things that keeps on happening and helps me to fix the date. But basic thing is you are using Tinder so that you can meet her. Get the number. Don't treat that number as a trophy. That number is there because you want to meet her. And that's it for today. If you have liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down your Tinder strategy, what works for you or whatever you want me to make a video about when it comes to online texting. And I will see you until next time.